Hey there, everyone. How you doing? It's Jeff C. It is uh, Monday, August the 25th, and uh, today is a day of victory for us. I mean, all of us who are out in this uh, truther movement, that terrible word that they like to use to, you know, make fun of us, these truthers, truthers, Sandy Hook truthers, Boston bombing truthers. Well, how about uh, James Bright Foley? Beheading truthers, right? Yeah, I'm one of those too. <laughs> I've been involved in so many of these false flags at the forefront, uh, trying to get information across, trying to let people know of the massive, massive mind control manipulation. That is the corporate media. And uh, I think we have maybe really had our first significant victory. And uh, hey, just look at the headlines here off the Telegraph. Foley murder video may have been staged they have come out they've been caught red-handed they know that too many people were able to break this thing down i had a video that came out right as soon as this happened and caught wildfire i think it got 140,000 or 50,000 but it got censored and and uh had an age restriction on it and you know how they do it right but it, the cat was out of the bag and too many people got this video too many people said wait wait a second this doesn't make sense the whole thing the well production the camera angles even the orange jumpsuit that was you know immaculate on him his shaved head all these different things of course the british guy here holding the knife and sawing back and forth six times and no blood coming out eh, kind of gave it away as well it was just a big staged events this guy works for the cia there's no doubt about it he's not dead and if he's dead he wasn't killed in this video not by this guy here you know and uh, that's all you need to know i mean people could say well what the corporate media is saying now no no we, we believe he's been killed he's killed for sure they, they cut off his head that's done that's for sure that's for sure well how do you know that no that's what they're telling you <laughs> that's what they want you to believe they want you to now they want you to take you and say to you okay 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 all right, that video, that thing that we showed you, we put all over the internet, and then we, we, we then we came out in Scotland Yard and met police and all these other, uh, you know, police forces just saying, no, 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 it's a terrorist defense. If you watch it, don't watch it, because first we wanted you to watch it, to be scared, to inflict the trauma upon your minds in order to bring in the need to invade Syria, right? And then, oh, wait a second, too many people have broken it down. It's been exposed. There's too many smart people on the internet that... Aren't drinking the fluoride? I guess. I don't know. <laughs> so guess what? Now we're going to come out and we're going to admit that, okay, the video was staged. It didn't really happen like that. Uh, but no, no, no. We're pretty sure that he died anyways. They killed him. Yes, they killed him right after. They just they just staged that part. That is a fucking load of horse manure. It's total 100% bullshit. The whole thing is staged. If they were going to kill him, they would kill him. If they were really going to kill him and make a political statement, they would make a real video of him and it would be grainy and it would be on some uh, some phone, you know, cell phone image. And it would be, you know, it would be gnarly. It would be awful. And everybody that would see it would be horrified, right? Horrified. Because, yes, it would be an awful thing to have to see somebody actually get their head cut off. But this guy, given his flawless speech... You know, and, and the way that it ended, of course, saying, you know, he was he wished he wasn't American. It's all staged. It's all New World Order propaganda, and this is how they do it. So, you know, let's look a little bit into this article here. Um, the video of James Foley's execution may have been staged. The actual murder taking place off camera. It has emerged. Forensic analysts of the footage of the journalist's death have suggested that the British jihadists in the film may have been the front man rather than the killer how fucking that's just hilarious you know it's it's like double speak oh well, they didn't kill him but they did kill him they didn't kill him in the video but they killed him right after you know it totally you can't fuck this shit <laughs> forget about it all right get the hell out of here there's no fucking way that this group isis would go through the, the whole shenanigans and staging just to fake it. Bullshit. They are brutal as fuck and they kill people and behead people all the time. This is CIA propaganda, all right? That's all it is. And fuck the Telegraph and the Guardian and the hoax online and fucking New York Times and every other shithole New World Order propaganda bullshit fucking corporate lamestream media outlet. They can all fucking take a giant crap and eat it because it's full of shit. This thing is extremely exposed it's done this is fake all right and we have finally 
finally got the corporate media to admit it. And they want to they wanna do a, a, you know, a little tap dance around it saying, well, yes, you caught us. It is fake. But, uh, you know, they killed him anyways. You know? Bullshit. The clip, which uh, apparently depicts Mr. Foley's brutal beheading, has been widely seen as propaganda coup for the Islamic State military group. But a study of the 4 minute 40 second clip carried out by an international forensic science company, which has worked for the police forces across Britain, suggested camera trickery and the slick post-production techniques appear to have been Use no shit. That's what we were saying, not this fucking bullshit corporation company that they hired. You didn't need that. You just needed a few people that uh, don't have fluoride in the water, right? That are thinking like myself and like all my fucking awesome subs who, uh, you know, see everything. You know, if I don't see it, they see it. My word, it's just amazing what we're able to find together. A uh, forensic analyst told the Times that no blood can be seen even though the knife is drawn across the neck area six times. Uh, after enhancements, the knife can be seen drawn across the upper neck at least six times with no blood evidence to point the picture uh, to point the picture fades to black, the analyst said. Um, sounds allegedly made by Foley do not appear to be consistent with what may be expected. People are saying it could be goat, you know, the sound of a goat being, his throat being cut. During Foley's speech, there appears to be a blip, which would, could indicate the journalist had to repeat a line. Yes, I pointed that out before too. One expert commission uh, to examine the footage was reported as saying, I think it has been staged. My feeling is that the execution may have happened after the camera was stopped. Of course, he has to say that, right? I, I, I showed an article just the other day where they were like, well, in no way are we suggesting that this person didn't didn't get executed. You know, bullshit. He didn't get executed. It's a load of fucking crap. It's total bullshit. However, the company re which requested anonymity did not reach a definitive answer. It concluded, no one is disputing, <laughs> this is what I'm talking about, no one is disputing that at some point an execution occurred. Bullshit! I'm disputing it 100%, you lying scumbags, all right? The Guardian, the New York Times, BBC, CBC, CBS, ABC, CNN, fucking dumb turds, the whole lot of you. You have zero credibility, zero zilch, none, because you all, all of you, all of you, every single stinking corporate media event, Push this as a real thing. And as soon as I saw it, the minute that I saw it, I said it was staged. All right? And how is it that some fucking independent dude, you know, uh, who has zero budget, who makes zero money off his videos, is able to see something that they need a whole team of experts to come in and break down? I'll tell you how it is, because it's just a giant propaganda machine. They're all working together to disseminate bullshit. Right? And we called them out, and there was no coming back. They knew that they had been exposed. The game was exposed. They knew it. They knew, and it went into damage control. And they tried to threaten people, and they tried to do this and that. And they were banning the video from, I've shown this in other videos. They, they took it off Live Leak. They took it off, you know, YouTube. They banned all these videos on YouTube. People lost their accounts. All this crap happened. The only reason my video stayed up because I showed zero of the video. I just showed the pictures from Hoax Online. But this is what's happening, folks. And uh, I have to say, <laughs> we have finally had a major moment of success in this movement. This is a huge watershed moment. We have to be able to enjoy and feel good that we have actually forced the corporate media. And this is the first time. It isn't the first time. Now I can go back. I can think of, hey, yeah, the Navy Yards hoax, where we forced them to admit that their photo of the guy four blocks away from uh, the Navy Yard where it actually happened um, you know, was, you know, that, that it wasn't at that location, that they said this was the location where the shooting happened, and then people did the work, found out, went on to Google, uh, you know, um, Google Earth and stuff like that, found the location, then the corporate media had to totally change their story, and they came up with this crazy story that it was a security guy, and he put the guy in the car, but he could only drive four blocks, so he dumped the guy who had a gun, a, a, a shotgun wound to the head on some street corner. 
for their photo op that just happened to have soldiers and, and guys in plain clothes uh, putting up police tape. <laughs> you can't make this shit up. And when we catch them and they admit it, that is a great day, folks. It's a great victory for us. And I want to thank each and every one of you who support my channel. You are all part of this channel, by the way, because everybody that comes and watches the work that I do and then puts their own input and their own feedback into it, that all affects me and what I do the next time. So I want to thank you all. I mean, people, when I put up something and you guys see something, for instance, the other day I put up the video of the siblings, the smiling siblings, right? Uh, James Wright Foley's bullshit fucking brother and sister who couldn't hide their joy. And uh, there was a photo that fell off the wall. Now, of course, that's become viral. I didn't even notice it. I was so focused on, on their whole presentation that when I was doing the video, I didn't even notice it. And then, of course, people go back and say, look, they didn't even notice it. How could they not notice a, 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 or re, even react to a photo folly? Well, it's because it was a setup. It was a studio. And they knew that if they reacted to it, it would break the whole illusion. Right. And that is what it is. It's an illusion. And we're shattering that illusion. We're breaking it down. <laughs> we're coming for you, globalists. We're coming for you. <laughs> as the fat man likes to say, we're coming from the alternative pseudo alternative media as well. We're going to expose everybody, including Paul Joseph Watson. Right. And jokers like that who, uh, yeah, just trumpet all the Reuters and BBC and New York Times crap. Right? And uh, enough is enough. All right? We have a huge victory today. Thank you all, and I wish you a wonderful day.